Welcome back to Section 3, Testing with Yi and Codeception. In the previous section, we learned how to use Yi's built-in development tools, such as Yi and the Debug module. In this section, we will learn how to write automated tests for our application using the Codeception testing framework, which ships by default with the Yi2 basic application template. We will learn how to configure Codeception and then use it to write unit, functional, and acceptance tests so we can feel confident that our applications work as we intend them to. This is video 3.1, Introducing the Codeception Testing Framework. In this first video, we will learn what Codeception is, and how it will take a lot of the tedious work out of writing automated tests for our application. We'll start off by introducing Codeception and the basic concepts of application testing. Then we'll learn how to configure Codeception. Finally, we'll learn how to provide our tests with sample data. There are three types of automated tests that developers write unit, functional, and acceptance. We will take a closer look at each type in the subsequent videos, but it will be helpful to understand the differences between the three. Unit tests are used to confirm that individual units of your application are functioning as expected. In Yi, this will typically be model and component classes, and these tests will confirm that their public methods function as expected. Functional tests aim to test your application as a whole using a browser emulator, which in the case of Codeception is PHP browser. They will load your pages and verify that they function as expected, but will do so programmatically. They can interact directly with the database and submit form data directly to your server-side scripts. By contrast, acceptance tests use an actual browser to test your pages. They actually click buttons and links, enter data into forms to trigger validation errors, and can even be used to test JavaScript functionality. Codeception provides helper classes for each of these three types of tests each of which has methods that can make writing your tests much easier. In order to get started with Codeception, we'll go ahead and connect to our Vagrant box using Vagrant SSH. We need to use Composer to install our package. We'll do that globally, and the package name is Codeception slash Codeception, and the version number is 2.0. While that's installing, you'll also need to add the Composer global binary package directory to your path so that you can run Codeception globally. In order to find that directory, type Composer global status and note the directory that is returned. Next, edit your path, which in our case is located in the bash profile file of your home directory. Type in the directory that was returned in the previous step and then add vendor slash bin. Save the file, then type source home slash bash profile, and then you'll be able to run the codecept command from anywhere on your system. Now, you simply need to tell Codeception to build its helper classes. Switch to the tests directory and run the build command. It builds one class in each of the test suite directories based on the configuration YAML files in the test directory. For instance, if we look at the functional suite configuration, it tells Codeception to include the file system and Yi2 modules, which contain additional methods for your functional tests. If you open up the generated functional tester actor class, you'll see that it extends from the base actor class, but includes methods from the file system and Yi2 modules. The final thing that we'll look at in this video are fixtures, which are used to populate a test database so that you have fixed data to test your code. The first step is to create a test database. Using your database management software, create a new database called monstermash-test. Now, edit tests config config.php and update the database name to monstermash-test. Next, we'll need to set up the schema for our database. Open db section 3.sql from your code samples and run the query on your test database. The schema should look very familiar as it is the same as we used in the previous section. Now, we need to create a fixture class and provide it some data. First, open up tests, codeception, fixtures, monster test fixture.php, and you'll see that a fixture class simply tells our testing suite what model class our fixture will be an instance of. Next, open up tests, codeception, fixtures, data, monster test.php. You'll see this script simply returns an associative array with properties and values for some test monsters. Now, whenever we run a test using this fixture, this data will be available in our test database. 
you should feel confident that you understand what Codeception is and how to get it set up. You learned about the different types of tests that Codeception can help you write, how to configure it, and how to provide it with data in order to create a known state for your tests. Coming up next, we'll take a closer look at the first type of tests, unit tests.